Hey there, my name is Erica and I'm from the McEwen Boys and Girls Club of Woburn and I'm really excited to be joining SCI for World Fest today and I am going to show you how to make and play your own game of Mancala. Mancala is a favorite board game that we play all the time at the Boys and Girls Club and it's very easy to make on your own. The supplies you'll need to make your own board game are an egg carton. It can be any type of egg carton, whether it's plastic or cardboard. Supplies to decorate your egg carton, a pair of scissors, and you'll also need something to use as your game pieces. And you'll need enough game pieces to put three in each of the holes of your egg carton. Okay, I'm gonna be using beads because I have enough beads. You could also use dried beans or seeds or small pebbles. To start, I'm gonna set my game pieces to the side so that I can start decorating my egg carton. Next, I'm going to cut off the lid. You could leave yours on if you wanted to be able to close up your game at the end. You should be really careful using your scissors to cut this off. Next, I'm gonna paint the inside of my Mancala board. I chose the colors blue and yellow. You can use any colors that you want and you can use any type of material that will work to decorate yours. Mancala is a game that has traveled all over the world and some archaeological evidence has shown that it actually might be the oldest game in the history of the world because the rules are different in lots of different parts of the world and the rules vary slightly depending on where you are. The way that people play in different places can actually tell us the migration route of where the game started and then where it traveled to from there. Starting from that second century Israel area, they found it actually in holes in the rock and they used pottery pieces to make the game and moved to Africa along the route of the Nile River and then to Lebanon. Historians actually think that the name Mancala came from the Arabic word Nakala, which actually translates to the word move, which is what you're doing with the pieces during the game is moving them from one spot to another. From there, Mancala has been found in Europe and it's also widely played in the United States now. All right, I finished up all of the blue and now I'm gonna do some yellow in the other spots. You can decorate your board however you want. To play Mancala, you're gonna set up your board with three or four beads or whatever you choose to use in each pit of your egg carton. And you can also use a small cup or a bowl to collect the beads that land in your pot. So this one is mine and this one is my opponent's. The object of the game is to collect more beads in my cup than she collects in her. To start, my side of the board is going to be the left side of the board and her side of the board is going to be her left side of the board. So if I'm going first, I'm going to choose any pit on this side of the egg carton and I'm gonna pick up all of the beads. Then I'm gonna drop one bead in each pit on my way towards my own cup. One here, one here, and one here. I landed in a pot that has more beads in it, so I get to pick up all of the beads that I landed in but first I'm gonna drop one of the beads in my own pot and then I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna skip her pot because I don't want her to collect as many and I'm gonna drop it in the next one. Drop it in mine again and keep going. Once I land in a pot that has no other beads in it, I'm gonna stop there. Now it's my opponent's turn and she's gonna choose from her left side of the board. She's gonna put a bead in her own pot and keep going. She's gonna skip my pot. Because she landed in her own pot with her last bead, she gets to take another turn. So she gets to choose from her side of the board again. I landed in my own pot for my last bead, so I get to pick up from my left side again. So because she landed in a pot that had none in it and has to stop there and her whole side is completely empty, the game is now over. Once one player's side is empty, you stop and you count how many beads are in your own pot. The player with the most beads wins. She has 12 beads and I have 21 beads. So even though the game ended when her whole side was empty, I won because I had more beads. And now I get to play again. Have fun playing. 